Hello and welcome to Magical World of Words brought to you by Story Tapestries. My name is Lorian Beals and today I'm reading Where the Best Stories Hide by Roman Yasieko, illustrated by Ben Whitehouse. Nick sat in the back of the class and was bored. He squinted his eyes till cool images soared. They filled up his head with fast racing type cars, tyrannosaurs, pirates, and spaceships from Mars. He quietly mumbled and made his face twist. Then quite a bit louder, he grumbled and hissed, so noisy in fact that his classmates turned round to see who or what could be making that sound. The teacher stood up in the front of the room. The children snapped too when they heard her voice boom. She called out his name and then shot him the look. Nick was at it again with his coloring book. Stay inside, not outside the lines, Nicholas. Don't doodle or scribble, don't make such a fuss. Just color the pictures, they're simple and plain. And keep the noise down, there's no need to complain. But that little boy sure had something to say with scribbles and squiggles and grands that day. He doodled all over on every new sheet with lines that kept dancing on twinkle toe feet. He knew every squiggle would soon tell a tale. This scrawl was a bird, that loop was a whale. Imagine that gray cloud becoming a horse. See sharks in rain puddles? He did. Yes, of course. And Nicholas never could keep his strokes straight. They wiggle and wander and always rotate far outside the lines. And then somehow they'd snake deep into the margins. Oh, for goodness sake. The teacher exclaimed, what goes on in that head? Why don't you just tell us? Wait, show us instead. Let's hear a big story, make certain it shines, or from now on your doodles stay inside the lines. Now Nicholas nervously gulped as he stood in front of the class with some markers that would bring to life to the whiteboard. He bowed and then whirled. He scribbled some squiggles that dance and that curled. He paused took a breath, then he boomed out a beat to a tale that had every kid glued to their seat. The story inside Nick just burst and poured out like rain off a roof rushing through a downspout. He doodled a castle, a lady, a lord, a knight with a longbow, a shield, and a sword, surrounded by big, hungry, foul-smelling trolls with toe jellies, bad breath, and crusty green moles. The simmering stench of the trolls reached the walls, oozed right through the windows, and crept down the halls. He couldn't outfight, so he had to out think. The young knight just knew he would have to outstink. He let loose an army of slick, slimy slugs and unleashed an air force of smelly stink bugs. The trolls took one whiff and passed out on the ground. Slugs dragged them to places they'd never be found. Nick finished his story. The class yelled, hooray! The knight was a hero who just saved the day. The teacher had guessed and the kids caught on quick. The doodled up knight looked a little like Nick. The teacher was silent for just a while. She smiled and said as she strolled down the aisle, I didn't know doodles had stories that hid outside all those lines till I saw what you did. She nodded at Nick as she turned to them all and said in a voice that was heard down the hall, now class, grab your crayons. Let's all have some fun. Imagine the stories you'll tell when you're done. So that's what they did for the rest of the day. They doodled and colored and giggled away. And Nicholas, well, do you know what he did? He showed everyone where the best stories hid. 
That's the end of our story for today. Thank you so much for joining Magical World of Words brought to you by Story Tapestries. Join us every Wednesday for more stories. Thank you and have an amazing day. Thank you for tuning in. In order to help us do this, you need to subscribe and even like the video you just watched. Together, let's elevate voices and celebrate community.